Yeah, so the Hagee sprayer behind me, uh, which is an awesome sprayer today that people know with high crop clearance, all wheel steer, 2,000 gallons, and front mount and boom brings Sea and Spray Premium, which is the Sea and Spray technology that we've had out for a few years, but we had it on a John Deere sprayer, now we bring it to the Hagee sprayer where you have 36 cameras and six vision processing units going through the field, scanning what's going on in the field, looking down into the, into the crop, telling the difference between crop and weed and spraying just a weed at 12 miles per hour, scanning 2,100 square feet a second, all while giving you 50% savings. Yeah, the data is, is crazy. I don't know the specifics of the engineering side, but I know that it's 2,100 square feet a second. When you think about 36 cameras, you're essentially scanning a, a small house at, at, at any one time, just going 12 miles per hour, and the, the amount of data that it's collecting is crazy. And it's all sending to these vision processing units like in the blink of an eye, that you're just scanning the field. And then also you record the data too. So if you think about, if I have a scene spray sprayer, I can go through the field, apply only what I need and then also see where weeds are based on it's only turning on where the weeds are. So it doesn't really, it, it adds incrementally to your sprayer of today. So if you want to do your traditional broadcast, even if you wanted to do fungicide like you said in corn for late season application, you can still do this. It's simply incremental technology when you're in that post-emergent application where you want to cut down your cost, maybe be smarter about getting that cleaner field and better yield. You turn this technology on, say you're in corn, soybeans or cotton, you turn it on, it's going to go look in the field for that crop that you told it to and only spray the weed. So you can do what you do today, but now you have the ability to cut back on the costs and be smarter and have a cleaner field in the future. Yeah, so there's some loaded tech in there. So we talked about all that cool stuff that it does, that computer vision, machine learning technology powered by artificial intelligence, but you have to have the brains behind it too. So this system has a G5 Plus display, which is 33% more processing power than what we've had before, brings that next gen user interface to see the data and that dexterity that you're looking for all the way down to that granular level within the field. Then has an integrated Starfire 7500 receiver that brings repeatable year-over-year -year accuracy using just satellites and not a base station, so using SFRTK. And then all that's connected still to the John Deere Operations Center. So those three core pieces of technology with the display and the G5 Plus, the receiver in the Starfire 7500, and then the Operations Center, which is like your home base. It's the report card at the end of the year. All that connected gives you the data behind when you're going through the field with sea and spray. It shows you what's happening so you can go back year over year and get smarter knowing I have a certain amount of weeds in this part of the field, what could I change for tillage practices, planting practices. So the savings are real, you know, putting less product and having 50% savings and herbicide costs, that's a really big deal. But also, if we're really thinking about the spray, it's about having a cleaner field to get better yields. Getting that crop from when it comes out of the ground to, to harvest with no pressure from weeds, try to minimize the weather, all those sorts of things. When you have seed spray, your flexibility to get to a clean field and maximize yields are as good as it gets. If you talk to your John Deere dealer, it will be available in the coming months on a Hagee sprayer. Um, we'll deliver it here in, in the winter of 2024 into 2025. And then on a John Deere sprayer, you can get it today if you talk to your local John Deere dealer.